Okay guys, this is my first tutorial for modding Rome Total War. The first thing we're going to do is just make sure all your things are in order. Change graphics mode. What you want to use is OpenGL. That's going to give you uh, the best mix between quality and speed. The focus of this first tutorial is going to be uh, creating a, a base character that you could all your later characters will develop from. Just give this a minute to start. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is called your utilities panel. Okay, max script. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure. You have to download the uh, CAS importer exporter. Okay, you want to copy this file. And paste that into your scripts folder. Okay, so it's already there, but let me just overwrite it. Okay, and now what you do is run script, and it's going to be right there. Then select import export, import, import cast. Uh, you go to your Rome Total, at Division Rome Total War data, models unit, and uh, let's pick peasant. Okay. Some of those models will give you an error. It just means you should choose a different model. Otherwise, it may uh, it may not work. Uh, Add division included a lot of corrupted, wasted models. So what you have here is the model. Okay. First thing we're going to do. Uh, your you, you should learn your hotkeys. Middle mouse button is to pan around the window. Alt in your middle mouse button is to uh, rotate. Okay. F2, and we'll start with F3. F3 is going to change between wireframe and shaded mode. F4 is going to uh, change between wireframe and wireframe on, uh, between regular shade and wireframe on shaded. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is let's get rid of his weapons. Primary weapon, delete. Yeah, that's the only one he has. Right now we don't need to see this skeleton, all these bones. So you go to your display panel and you do hide by category helpers. And now we don't have to deal with grabbing those bones or seeing them. Alternately, say I wanted to click on the body, but I selected a bone, you could also do only select geometry, okay? Or if you only want to do the bones, you would only select point. Okay, but let's just hide those for now. First thing we're going to do is scale this guy up because right now when you get close to him, um, the model is so small in 3D space that 3D Max automatically clips the object. So way to remedy that is just scale it up 3,000%, okay? Uh, to get to that box, you just right-click on your scale. Same thing with rotate and move, okay? Now we have a larger model. It doesn't clip when we get in close. Okay, now we want to start cleaning it up. First, we're going get, to get rid of the skin modifier. Okay. Next, we're going to delete uh, let's leave it actually. We're going to start collapsing. Yeah, let me delete it. You guys have got some practice. Okay, so we want to delete the symmetrical halves on the model. Make sure you get everything. Okay, what you don't want to delete is the skirt area. Because the skirt is not symmetrical. 
So what you want to do instead, just also just make sure you don't take any off on the back because it's a little higher up on the front. So if you go all the way down here, sometimes you'll select the back. Okay, so what you want to do now, also, uh, these are different, these are called your sub-object levels. So right now we're on the polygon level. There's also one would be vertex, two would be edge, three would be face. Right now there's no difference between face and polygon. Okay, and uh, five would be object. Object selects all continue, contiguous edges. Okay, so we're also this is uh, you see how the polygons are highlighted in red. If you press F2, it changes them off and it only highlights the edges. Okay. I like to keep it on. So what we're going to do is select all the skirt polygons. Oh, I was on object. Uh, if you hold down Alt, it will deselect any anything you run over. Okay, then you want to go to detach, and you can leave it object one or called skirt. So now what you have is exactly half a model. What you can do now is press Control V. Oh, why did that work? Edit Clone Control V Instance. It's going to create an instance. Now you want to reflect it in the X direction. So now you have something that will update real time. Okay. Okay, as you update one half, the other will. Uh, your shortcuts for select is Q, W for move, E for R, uh, E for rotate, R for scale. Okay, also your uh, shortcut for snaps is S, angle snaps is A. You want to set your angle snaps, I keep it at, uh, you, you want to set your regular snaps at, just keep it on vertex and your angle snaps at uh, 5 degrees. Okay, now what we're going to do is press 1 to get, uh, press Q to get your select tool and 1 to select all your vertices. Before we do that, let's right click on it, convert to edible poly. A poly mesh is a lot easier to work with than a regular mesh for a variety of reasons. It's poly a regular mesh is a little bit outdated. It's a lot outdated actually. Okay, so go all the way down to edit vertices. Now, this is your threshold, how close together polygons will uh, weld. Now, you should put it up to 0 0.01. The only thing that's going to happen is, right, the only polygons that are going to mesh uh, weld that you don't want to are going to be right over here on the mouth. But you should just... Uh, you could just deselect those. Okay. Now what that's going to do is before when we selected an element it would only select the arm or the body. That's because the vertices were broken. Okay, so when you move one vertice, when you move one vertex, it doesn't move that whole area. So that makes it a lot more difficult to model. However, it will eventually have to be done. So you go to uh, okay. Well, just that down, and now what you're going to see is everything is selected at the same time. We're going to get rid of the hair. I don't know why that didn't delete. And now just to make sure you got everything, you can uh, press M to bring up your material editor and turn on two-sided. Now what's that gonna what that is going to do is uh show all your polygons 
even if it's you're not looking at them and normally they would be invisible, you uh you could see them. Sometimes you'll have real small polygons or uh ones that aren't easy to see. I don't know what that is. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is collapse these arms into something solid, press one to bring up the vertices, W to bring up your move tool, S to turn on your snaps, also press X to toggle your giz this is called your gizmo. Okay. So now I just want to Okay. Now again, you're going to weld. Let's do the same thing over here on the feet. Okay, now I like to clean up the arms. Rome Total War uses eight sided arms, which I don't see the point. Okay, so you just clean those up. Okay, so huh. this stopped being an instance for some reason. Let me do it again. Okay, so now I have a very basic model, and you could do this for uh, any model that you want to start with. Okay, and that will give you the basis to start working for your uh, later ideas. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. It was real short. Uh, next one, we'll get into uh, more serious modeling. Okay.